Okay, so I've added my buttons into my form, so now I'm, I think I'm happy with the way it's going to work. And so therefore I will save my form and right click and go to open. This is now open in um, go mode. So I only have one record. So I'm going to add another record. Um, this is going to be Mrs. Frederica. Nurk. That's Fred Nurk's wife. So they live in the same place. Um, postcode is 2760. You know, I'm not, you can't see what I'm doing because I'm, I don't have a camera on my keyboard. But what I'm doing is I'm tabbing between the different um, fields, which is great. So 02, I don't remember what I said, 0000 1111. Again, please don't call that number. Mobile phone number 04000000. Date of birth for Mrs. Frederica Nurk. She was born on the 1st of the 4th of 1901. And her email address is. Okay. Now, if I look at my previous record, there's Fred. There's a new one. So there's my buttons working, and I can go to previous and last because although they are taking me first and last, I've only got two records, they are working. And when I exit, it closes the form. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. So that means that now I've got my uh, address book sorted. That's all the fields in the database. That's the previous videos that we hopefully you've been watching. I've got my address book form made with my navigation structure built onto it, which is great. And I've got my address book form looking perfect there. Sweet, right? That's as easy as it gets. So for the next video, I'm going to learn you how to make some queries. They're fun. What I'll do before then, though, is add a whole bunch of data into this form.